ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that there are a bunch of idiots on this planet and that they do play a lot of games. I just was doing the subpoenas as I just did a video telling you that I was completing the subpoenas. And the subpoenas were eight pages. You can see this is 123 pages because this includes the subpoenas with the lawsuit, the summons and subpoenas. Ladies and gentlemen, I had just completed that. It was only eight pages. I just had to add one final paragraph. That's all. One final paragraph. I went to go do the paragraph. I came back and all of my PDFs were gone with the exception of this U.S. Bank versus CFPB. That's the only thing that was still there. Everything else was completely removed and my work not saved. Now, I have incremental saves. Let me show it to you. So I have incremental saves. Automatically, it saves it every five minutes. That, that's the way this is set up so that that doesn't happen. So when you are doing what I'm doing, you better believe it's an AI system and it is their system that interferes with what I'm doing. So we have our subpoena. Oh, and by the way, just so that some of you guys know, we're asking for a trial by jury. We're not asking for all that other junk that everybody else be asking for. Ain't doing none of that stuff. This is a redress petition governed by the First and the Seventh Amendments. That's what we did. Oh, and then for when the clerk wants to change things around, we did a sui juris complaint, redress complaint, and it's amended format. That's what they accepted on the record. We don't play. So this is just to let y'all know what we're doing. Oh, and then we talked about the subpoenas in blank just so that they understood subpoenas must be issued from the court where the action is pending, and the clerk must issue subpoenas signed but otherwise in blank. Don't have to fill it out. That's why I'm doing it now. But again, apparently somebody didn't like what I was doing. Then I did the video and told y'all about it, and then right after, I, right after I did the video, the video is up. Go ahead. Let's take a look. No matter how high, no matter how high I get, I'll still be looking up to me. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, that song is in the back of my mind. Subpoena time and the courts. And if you notice, it was just published, only 36 people. But hold on now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Subpoena time, that was just done a couple of minutes ago. So right after I published that video talking about subpoena time, subpoena gone, subpoena gone. For those of you, with this video, I'm going to put this link so that you all can join the suit. Now, we're going to talk just for a brief moment and let you know the genius behind what's been done. Usually when you're doing a class action lawsuit, you have to petition the court to convert it to a class action. Now, there are some ways of getting around that. All you have to do is just have five people sign on to your suit. Okay? And then have another five. You're already a class action, whether you want to be or not. That's the first thing. Second thing is, we have hundreds of people who signed on to this lawsuit. Now, after I put together the suit, I wasn't even thinking about this when I did the suit. Okay? And I'll tell you that before my God. It wasn't anything serious. If I had even mentioned it, I promise you, I wasn't focused on it. But then after I filed the suit, I realized, wait a minute. It's... A notice, notification of a debt, an outstanding debt. You better believe we can sit up there and 1099C that debt. Uh-oh. Got to go take care of this. Got to go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll talk about that. This link will be there. Take care. I'm out.